Hola, hola, hola. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva, the artist formerly known as Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be setting up my planner spread for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. Um, I had so much fun setting up my planner last week with my iconic honey lemon spread. I love how it turned out. This is what it looks like after the pen, after a week's worth of um, plans. But yeah, I had a lot of fun setting that up. Today I'm going to be setting up this week and I'm actually really excited about the spread that I'm going to be doing today. I decided to go with a Cafecita Designs collection. This is the, I think it's called Cafecito pan and pan dulce collection. I'm actually not super sure what this... No, it's pan y cafecito. That's what the collection is called. So this is a relatively recent release from Cafecito Designs. I love her shop. She is amazing. I love her aesthetic. I feel like we see eye to eye when it comes to what we like. And I love everything that Linda, um, the creator of Cafecito Designs, creates. Like I love everything. And it's super rainy out here. It's been rainy for the last couple of weeks, I would say, in Southern California. And so I'm feeling really cozy. I have my poncha here in my taza de barro. So this is a taza de barro right here. Like it's a clay mug with some glaze on it. And and you can see the taza de barro here in the stickers along with the pan dulce. But I just love how Cafecita Designs is just so Latina. Like she pays homage to Latinidad and her Mexican culture and that resonates so much with me. So my idea is to use this collection here and this little sticker book is actually from Cafecita Designs. I got her advent box and the sticker book came in the advent box. It's just like a sticker storage situation. We're going to be using the stickers from that new collection. So the Pani Cafecita collection. I am also going to be pulling for her washi tape. So we have a couple of washi tape here from that same collection. I have some stamps that I want to get into because I have way too many stamps not to use them in every single spread. I'm trying to challenge myself to use stamps in every single spread. So I have stamps. I have this washi tape. This is a coffee washi tape. So cute. So I have that there. I have a Rila Kuma washi tape, so we have no shortage of washi tape. And of course I have some scrapbook paper. These are the scrapbook paper pieces that I decided to go for. This one, because I feel like the colors are very neutral, I think they resonate really well with the Pan y Cafecito collection. Like, I think that fits really well. Um, and I also chose this scrapbook paper because the words, it kind of gives me like vintage literary vibes. And for me, like my happy place is like in a little cafe or in a little cozy little nook at my home, eating my pan, drinking my cafecito and reading a good book. And so I'm just trying to go for a really cozy reading slash pan y cafecito spread. So <laughs> I'm excited to see what I come up with. And we have some Rila Kuma stickers here in case I want to pull for these. So we have no shortage of stationery and sticker supplies. So let us just jump into it. Let's see what we got here. I'm actually thinking of covering up the, up the sidebar with a piece of scrapbook paper. This is like my good to. <laughs> so let's do that. I just find that this is a really easy way to add some color to your page and to add scrapbook pieces to your to your spread is just covering up this sidebar here. Oops, I probably should have used my paper trimmer, but I left it in my craft room. So we're just gonna go with plain old scissors today my Tombow adhesive, lay this down, perfect. And let's dive into the stickers. Let's pull out this sheet, this sheet, this sheet, the half boxes. Oh, definitely these and these. Okay, we'll start off with those for now. And 
this one. Oop, and these washi strips. Okay, I think the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover up the top with these washi strips and then lay down these date stickers. So let's do that. Okay, I love how that looks. I had to punch out those holes that I covered up with my crocodile, but I went for the pink date stickers. Now, I think I'm gonna uh, grab this piece of scrapbook paper and give me some nice tearaway scrapbook pieces just to lay around the page here. I might give myself a classic corner piece here just cause I love how that looks. Perfect. I like that. All right, let's lay that down. We're gonna have to cover up Mickey and Minnie this week. I don't mind that they hang out there in the bottom. Um, I don't think they're too crazy. I can work them into any spread, honestly, but sometimes um, we just get covered up. Ooh, I really like how this piece just tore out. I never use scrapbook paper in these kind of pieces. Like this shape, I never really go for it, but I'm trying something new. Let's put this right, oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> I wanted to like scooch it a little bit further so that these edges lined up more, but I, <laughs> I put it down a little bit crooked. That's okay. Let's just keep on going. I love this crocodile. Like I kept on like resisting and getting it and then I just gave in and I love it. Oh no, I've messed this up. And just one more piece here. Just a little one like right there. And now to lay down some stickers. I always like putting some of the big box stickers on the weekend because I like to journal and stuff. So let's put this down here. And I'm gonna put some washi tape down. Okay, I really want to use this coffee washi tape. I got this in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles and it's such a cute washi. It's kind of transparent. Like it's not super opaque, but I kind of like the aesthetic. It's very vintagey, almost antique-y, and it has all kinds of like coffee paraphernalia on it, coffee beans, a little coffee mug. Um, just, it's so cute and I think this would look so cute right here on the bottom. I am just covering up these holes today. Okay, I really want to use this washi tape. It's kind of a scalloped washi tape. I really like washi tapes like this. I like when companies put out washi tapes like this, the kind that is kind of scalloped. It's not just like a regular rectangular shape. I love this. So let's put this right here. Let's layer it on top of that washi. Oh, so cute. And I kind of want to use this glittery bandose washi as well. So I'm thinking this one could go right here. Perfect. And of course, I'm going to have to use like the washi with the taza cebado. I'll put this, I think, up here. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's put some boxes and checklists down before I get too excited. And some full boxes, of course. Let me get one of these. 
I'm gonna put this on this side. Ooh, what do you think about kind of like staggering them? Like so, like on the sides, like this. What do you think about that? I love it. <laughs> Ooh, I love when I do something new and it like really works out. I love that. Okay, how about this one? I'm gonna use all of these, but <laughs> that's okay. I have to do the bundle so one like this. Oh, so cute. I love, I'm living. Okay, let's get some full boxes on here. So I'll put that there. Some checklists, of course. I'm gonna put one here. Maybe one right there. I have to get one with the Tasa de Varo. I'll put this one. I'll put this one right here. Perfect. And then I can grab some of these smaller checklists. Put that there. Ooh, I'm gonna get this little um, deco sticker and put this oh, maybe like right there. I love it. And I am going to have to get a tasa de barro and put it right there. So cute. And I'll put a little box right there on a Friday. Another checklist right here. This little maroncito, put it right there. And a concha, I'm going to have to put it maybe. Oh, I love it. And I think I have smaller stickers as well that I think would look really good just like floating around. Yeah, look at these. These are so cute. So I could put like one of these here and then this right there and then a pink concha right here and a little taza de lado right here. Oh, so cute. I love how it's looking. Okay. And I do have these to do stickers. I could put them on top of the checklists. I think that would be a nice look. So let's pop. Oh, that one's really crooked. <laughs> oh, well. To do. Perfect. All right, let's add some more boxes. I'll put one here. And then I think I might just add one more. I might put one here. And then maybe a quarter box. I'll put a quarter box right here. And I'll grab the other Harito and put it down there. So cute. Oop, I finished up the sticker sheet already. And I'm thinking of just grabbing this big old box here and just putting it like maybe right here yeah let's do it sometimes i kind of want to save my stickers for other spreads but whatever let's go for it i kind of want to put this real akuma ah! i kind of want to use this real akuma washi tape it's a nice cream and it's kawaii i think it goes really well with this color scheme and aesthetic all right let's do it perfect I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit, like so. And I kind of want to add some Rilakkuma stickers, just sprinkle them throughout. Um, how about maybe like right here? That's cute. This sticker sheet is kind of Rilakkuma as bread theme. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of surreal, but I like it, it's cute. And I think it fits in with this like bread theme that we have going on here. Let's put another checklist right here and maybe a small one for Friday. I think we're kind of reaching sticker capacity. I might have to cool it. But before that, let me just put one box right here. Sprinkle some more to-do stickers on top of the checklists. Cute. Okay, one last checklist right there. I can always use checklists on the weekends to do. Perfect. 
All right, I think that's it for like larger stickers. Oh, I wanna do something here and here. Okay, actually, the one last thing I wanna do is I wanna put like a full box over here. I'm gonna put one just kind of like right there. I think that would be cute. And sprinkle some stickers around here. Casa de Baro, Maroncito, Concha, Otra Concha, put that there. Maybe Rilakuma right here, <laughs> cute. And then I'll put these little stickers right here. I think that would be really cute. So cute. And you know what? I'm gonna sprinkle some of these like smaller stickers up here at the top, like so. I love big happy planners. There's just so much real estate to work on and I can just do so much on such huge pieces of paper. Okay, the last thing I wanna do, I promise, the stamps. I do wanna use the stamps. So I have here, um, I have two colors. I have angel pink and potter's clay. I'm thinking the coffee stamp here will look good with potter's clay. Let's put that down here. Let's see, where should I put this stamp? Maybe down here. I love it. It's a little bit lighter than I'm used to. I guess I didn't stamp this well enough. So let me try again. I have one here and then I'll put another one maybe right there. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then I have this heart stamp and then this heart stamp, which is just a bunch of little hearts. I think it'd be so cute to sprinkle these around. So let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see, where should I start? Maybe here. Ooh, actually that isn't as nice as I thought it would be. Let's try it again. Okay, it's all right. What I like about this stamp is that I feel like you can write over it pretty easily. Ah, oh no. I don't like that I got some ink of the edge of the stamp there. That's so annoying. When you ink these, you just have to be careful that you're not hitting the edge of the ink pad so that it doesn't show up when you stamp it. Let's try again. Let's do one more of this, maybe right here. Okay, that's fine. I think that stamp is better if it's like a darker color, but I don't want to use a darker color. Like I could, I think that stamp would look better with this rhubarb stock ink. It's much deeper, a deeper burgundy. I think it would look up. It would think, I think that stamp would look better with this, but I don't think this color goes with this spread. So I'm not going to be using it. Let me try this heart stamp right here. I really like this heart stamp. Let's use that same angel pink. I'm gonna put one in the corner. Ooh, I like that. That's cute. Let's sprinkle some more around here. Maybe like right there. Ooh, see, I like that. Let's put one right here. I love this. I'm gonna go stamp happy right now. Maybe one right here. And again, I, what I like about this color in particular is that um, you can write over it and you, things would still be legible. I chose these heart stamps because I love cafecito designs and I love pan dulce. Pan dulce and these tazas de barro, they have such a special place in my heart. I love my culture, I love my race, I love my ethnicity, I love being Mexicana, Latina, a daughter of immigrants. I'm very proud of that and I love my heritage and I want to celebrate my heritage so that's why I wanted to do this like super cute cafecito designs, pan dulce, heart spread. 
and I think it's turned out amazing. I love it. And I think the Rila Kuma uh, stickers also just add a fun little element here. Okay, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is write the dates here. So it is Monday is the 16th. Oh no, this is not gonna work. 